Hello and welcome to this session on UC Training. Today we're going to look at what happens the very first time you connect to a UC box. We'll examine the home page and the dashboard and we'll look at security covering users, roles and privileges. Let's start our session by bringing up Internet Explorer. In the window you can see a typical Internet Explorer session that's opened and what I'm now going to do is I'm going to connect to our UC box. I've already followed the installation instructions that are provided with the UC box. In this instance I've set the system up so that I can connect using an ad hoc wireless network. I'm going to start by going to UC's homepage and to do this to begin with I will type in the IP address of our homepage and that is 192.168.1.1 take just a moment or two for the page to load and there we go because this is the first time the UC box has been used from the factory, we get a slightly different opening page. You see the home page, but immediately you are asked to select your language. You must do this before you can proceed any further. In this case here, I'm going to choose English. You can see that English has been selected. If we look up here on the top of the navigation bar we can see a flag and in fact I can change the language at any time whilst using UC so let's do that if I click on the flag I'm displayed a list of available languages let's choose German if I select German you'll see immediately that the page content has changed and now reflects the German language. If I want to change back to another language, I simply just select that language from the list. At the moment we have nine languages available to a user. In future there could be more. Let's go back to English. And you'll see immediately I've reselected English and the page has changed again. Now there's some other interesting things I want to show you. If I were to actually take the Internet Explorer window and I were to resize it, you'll notice that as I start to resize the window, the page content is changing dynamically to allow you to fit into a different view. If I were to have a tablet based on a 9 inch screen, then you see you would automatically display the page content in a way that best suits that screen size. Same goes here as I showed you with Internet Explorer. As I expand the window the page is dynamically resized to best fit the content. There's a couple of other things we ought to look at here on this home page. You'll notice that here in the corner is the UC icon and whenever I press that it will refresh the page or if I'm on a different page bring me back to the home page. You'll notice also there are two other columns. One is entitled UC status. This tells me what the current time is according to the UC box. If there is a user logged in and what security level they are allowed. It actually tells me here that I'm not logged in. In fact it says click the login link to sign in. Let's see what happens when I log in. When I go to the login page I'm offered the choice to either enter a username and password of an existing account. You'll also notice that there's a prompt on this page which is prompting you to actually change the password of the admin account. The default password for the admin account is password. 
We strongly recommend that you change this, record the password and keep it in a safe place. Having changed the admin password, if you are then to forget or lose this password, you will have to seek assistance from Helvar to regain control over the UC product. Let's go ahead and change the password. The current password is password. If I click on the I in the security box, it reveals what you typed as a password. That's quite a handy feature and allows you to check that in fact you've typed the correct password in. I'm going to now enter a new password. It needs to be at least eight characters long and must contain one alpha character and one numeric character and should avoid special characters. I think in this instance I'll type in Helvar and I'll type in 2014. I'll just reveal that and I'll confirm that password underneath. And now press update and it actually confirms that the password has changed. The next time I go into the login screen I won't see the prompt reminding me to change the default password for the admin account. Let's actually go on now and log in as admin. Admin's the username, and we know that the password is that I've just changed. I've now come back to the home page, and you can see under the UC status that the user is now admin, and the admin user has a security level of administrator. If I wish to log out from any account, I simply click on the link in the top of the bar. Let's actually investigate accounts in a bit more detail. As an administrator of the system, you will want to add other users, and in doing so, you will want to restrict their rights and privileges to accessing information within the system. This is very useful as it allows you to give control to people without compromising security or run the risk of someone editing by mistake or changing parameters within the system. So let's show you how you add a new user account. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the configuration link on the left hand side of the navigation pane. This takes me to a new page and I'm going to go straight to the item which is entitled user accounts. When we go into this page, it shows us the current user who's logged in. It happens to be admin who has administrator rights. Uh, and it tells us the username, forename, surname and role of that person. I'm now going to add a new account. So I'm going to click on add user. And I'm prompted to give this person a username. And this is going to be B Gates. His forename is going to be William. He has a surname of Gates. And we need to give him a password. And the password we're going to assign Bill Gates is Windows 8. I'll just reveal that. And I'll confirm the password. And we also have to give uh, William an email address. So I am going to say he is bgates at ms.com. You'll notice I have an option here that I can click on which says receive mail. Um, this is very useful um, if you set alarms up in the system. For now, we will not tick that box. Uh, and I'm going to click on OK. And by doing that, you can now see a new user, uh, William Gates, username B Gates, 
has been created and his role is that of a basic user. Now there's a number of things I can do from this point onwards. I can either add a new user, I can edit an existing user or I can delete a user. If you look here we've got a drop down box and uh, this list will expand to show users as I add them to the system. I can then select from this list and again it will show me the basic user details and will allow me to do things like edit the user. So if we go back to Bill Gates and I go edit user, I can now come in to uh, Bill Gates's setup uh, and I can change something uh, about Bill Gates here. So in fact I'll change his surname to be Bill, his nickname, and I'll click on OK and now when we go back you can see that his forename has changed to Bill. Um, I can delete William from the system uh, simply by clicking on the icon here. I won't do that right now. Um, and in fact that applies to um, anyone in the list except the administrator. If I select the administrator you'll notice that delete user box has greyed out and I cannot cannot delete the user administrator. If we go back to Bill Gates and I click delete I get offered a dialog box which comes up uh, which says are you sure you wish to delete this account? Uh, I'm not going to delete the account so I'll press cancel and the user I created Bill Gates still remains. Let's add another user and the username I'm going to add is L Skywalker. We're going to give him a new role, different role this time, editor role and his forename is going to be Luke his surname is Skywalker and we'll give him a password I'll reveal that password so you can see it's going to be Death Star 1 and give him an email address s skywalker l skywalker rather sorry at star wars dot, dot com okay so now you can see I have three users, the administrator account which is the default account which can't be deleted, um, I have a basic user Bill Gates and I have an editor L Skywalker. You'll notice that all the while we've been adding these users we have obviously been remained logged in as the admin and you can only actually add users if you have administration rights. So now we've got uh, two types of user plus the administrator. Thank you very much for watching. That concludes this training session on UC.